And this week, Russell on Business in the New Economy, how to create a buzz for your business. When your customers leave your business, are they talking about the experience they just had, or are they just kind of walking out, checking their text messages, and not really thinking about what they just left? Recently, I left a movie. Everybody that was walking out of that movie at the end of it was talking and buzzing about that movie. It was something unique. It grabbed their attention. We have got to be grabbing our attention, the attention of our customers, dramatically. Now, that can be done in very simple ways, true? Absolutely. The experience that the customer has can be predicated on the service, their greeting, the product, the price, the, the atmosphere, the surrounding. Any of those things can really give the customer a positive experience. I'll never forget, years and years ago, I think even before I moved to South Carolina, going in to have my automobile repaired, and when I picked it up, there was a business card, and attached to it was a mint just to thank me for doing business with them. There are some there are some car dealerships that actually wash the car anytime they service the car. They wash it before they put it out for the customer. That washing the car is not something they paid for, it's something that they notice. It's huge, it's significant. You've got to do something that just that's unique, that stands out. Imagine the circus is coming to town. Okay. All right? Somebody puts a sign on Main Street saying the circus is coming to town, uh -huh. right? right? What if they were to take an elephant, walk it down <laughs> Main Street with a sign on the elephant? Which would create more buzz? I believe the elephant would. I believe the elephant would create piles of buzz. So, trying to define what this buzz is for your organization. I mean, it's got to be something simple. It's got to be something that's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. It's also got to be you. Ah. If, if I am a, a creative, upbeat, happy kind of guy, then it's going to be easy for me to do creative, upbeat, happy kinds of things. But if I'm sort of dour, very uh, introverted, and suddenly I've got this inflated gorilla on the top of my business. It's not going to be genuine. People need to know that it's part of you. So you've got to find out what is it that you have that's part of your personality, part of your business, that you can use to, to create, to ignite some buzz in the business. Once you ignite it, it can run from there. A new product, a new salesperson. I mean, this is the thing that gets me. Anytime a new athlete comes to a team, they broadcast how great this new athlete is. Take your new employee. Let the world know how good they are. You hired them, you believe in them. Make a difference with your buzz, and that's how you'll make it happen in the new economy.